you can see, we are in a completely different background. With my new work schedule, it's very difficult for me to film <laughs> during the evening, which is when I normally do. And for some reason, my room, the lighting is always super harsh. The sun just looks terrible. So this is the only decent place I can film during the daytime with good lighting where the sun isn't blinding me and making me look extremely harsh and not cute. So this haul, a ton of drugstore makeup. Every now and then I'll get a bug up my butt where I just really want to try a bunch of new drugstore makeup. Uh, so this is like cumulative over the past month or so and oh my gosh, I went buck wild. I am going to start off with the high-end stuff for all my high-end lovers. So I took a gander down to Ulta a couple of days ago and I got the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. I heard a couple good things. I think one was from Kathleen Lice and one was from Tati. Um, I got mine in the shade 4.5, which by the way is literally my perfect shade. It blends so smoothly into my skin. Um, I've only worn this once and it wasn't for an extended period of time, but it felt very lightweight. It blended out very good and there was a lot of hydration. So I'm really excited to play with this more and actually give it some more wear tests. Yeah, I don't ever buy anything from Bare Minerals, but when I heard a hydrating foundation stick, I did get curious and when I was in Ulta, I just saw it. They were fully stocked and I was like, huh. And so the next thing that we have is from MAC. This is the pink like strobe cream. I can't believe I've never tried this before. Basically you just put it all over your face and you're like glowing. I've just been wanting to try this for years and I finally just added it to my basket and showed up at my doorstep. From Sephora one day I picked up a lipstick in the shade somewhere in Spain. I just thought it was the most gorgeous nude shade totally up my alley like this is my type of nude it feels very creamy i haven't put it on my lips yet but i'm really excited to and i'm going to spain this summer so <laughs> the name kind of also got me to buy it and those lipsticks by the way are pretty affordable as well i don't have a lot of makeup from sephora collection so that's exciting i also made an order off of muse beauty pro i know they didn't send me this they send me some stuff sometimes but like i told you i'm an actual customer of them so i picked up these danessa myrick's Luxe cream palettes. So they're just cream palettes. I plan on putting these in my makeup kit because I'm tired of hauling around lipsticks. So I just thought this was really nice. They are quite sheer, I will say that. And the plastic thing falls off, so I need to wrap these around in a rubber band. But these are such good colors, so I'm so looking forward to using these. And then I also got an Embryo Lease, just their cream, which is really good for moisturizing skin when you're doing makeup on other people. Really good ingredients, very moisturizing. So definitely, if you're a makeup artist, look into this. It's awesome. So now we are going to shift into the drugstore portion of this haul. Like I said, a lot of stuff. I went a little crazy. So this is all from like Ulta, Walmart, Target, just a bunch of different places. So I guess we'll start off with setting sprays and primer sprays. So the first thing I got, which was from Target, is the Pixi Glow Mist. I've heard a lot of good things about their skin mist, so I wanted to give one a try. They were actually quite expensive. I was debating between two. I ultimately decided on this one. I haven't yet used it, but I'm really excited to give it a go. Hopefully it makes my skin look really pretty and really glowy. The other one that I got is the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Fixing Spray. So this, I believe it was that Taylor or somebody, she recommended this. I actually didn't see that video, but I was online. Catrice was having some sort of buy something, get whatever free. And this was like one of their best sellers. I read the reviews and everybody jumped on this bandwagon because of her. And so I picked it up. I've been using it. I like it. Uh, it definitely makes my skin a little bit more glowy and illuminated. So I've been liking this and it's really tiny and affordable. And this is really good for travel. Foundations, the first one that I picked up, I don't know what intrigued me to get this. I haven't yet tried it out. This is the Neutrogena Protect and Tint Tinted Moisturizer. I got mine in the shade Light to Tan. Like I said, I haven't used it yet, but the packaging of this whole line was really, really cute. And I kind of wanted to expand the different brands that I use and different brands of foundations that I use. I own literally nothing from Neutrogena. So I saw this Tinted Moisturizer. I was in the mood for summer, I guess. And I picked this up. So I will let you guys know what I think of it as when I actually use it. Then I got the L'Oreal Infallible, the, the Fresh Wear 
their foundation. Everybody and their mother is talking about this foundation. I do love drugstore foundations. I think they're really, really good. I love a good luxury foundation as well, but I think that a lot of drugstore foundations are on par with high-end. I think luxury tends to be in a league of its own, but high-end and drugstore, I feel, can be pretty, pretty close. So I got mine in the shade 430. Hopefully this is my shade. I have no idea. Um, I can't wait to play with this, so I don't want to speak on it. I don't really know. <laughs> the next one that I got was the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. I got mine in the shade nude beige again just one of those foundations i've heard a lot of good things about i've been on the hunt for a lot of really good nourishing foundations and a lot of people with dry skin said they like this and it's very affordable as well i did try the liquid foundation i forget what the photo ready i think photo ready foundation the liquid foundation from white and wild hated it so hopefully i like this more. <laughs> the next foundation that I got was the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. So I never really got into Catrice and then I went to a random Ulta that wasn't my regular Ulta and they had a whole Catrice display so I did pick this up because I have heard some things about it and oh my gosh you guys it is so good this is one of my new favorite drugstore foundations if you're looking for a more matte full coverage foundation this is so good from the drugstore $11 I'm in love with this I need to check out the concealer to see if it's as good as the foundation I also picked up the J Cat Beauty I made an Ulta online order uh, J Cat Beauty Aqua Assurance compact foundation so Jessie smiles she's Kathleen's friend I, she has a beauty channel and she talked about how full coverage this powder foundation was I've only swatched it it seems to be quite full coverage but we will see when I actually put it on my face I'm always on the market for a good full coverage powder foundation for when I'm too lazy to put liquid foundation on because fat powder foundation just feels better you know it feels so much lighter so we will see what I think about this. I've heard also, I believe, from Tati who says this is like one of the best of the best. Can't wait to test that out. I also got the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This is in the shade 125 Light Natural. I believe it was Mel who really loved this. Uh, she's the one that kind of influenced me to get this one. Haven't used it yet, so I can't really speak on it. I hope I got the right shade. This quite recently created a bit of a buzz when Milani introduced a bunch of their new products, so hopefully I like this. So let's move on to bronzers. So the first bronzer that I got is from Wet n Wild. It had been so long since I'd been in a drugstore aisle that I felt like all the drugstores had a bunch of new things that I hadn't tried and I was so excited to try them. So this is the Ticket to Brazil bronzer from Wet n Wild. I'd heard good things about their bronzers and like this is terrible. I do not like the shade of this. I might like this more in a different shade, but I can tell you, I think Ticket to Brazil was quite popular and I don't know why. There's like flecks of glitter in it. The shimmer in it is very unflattering as a bronzer and the shade is just terrible. I, it's like almost yellow on me. I don't know. I do not like this. Um, I also got the Milani Sunkissed Silky Matte Bronzer. I got mine in the shade 02, or maybe it's called Sunkissed. That's a shade. Well, whatever. I know Ashley Clady talked about loving this, and um, I was so excited to see this at the drugstore because I hadn't seen it like actually out in person. It's actually the bronzer that I'm wearing right now. It's super smooth, such a good neutral bronzer color where it gives you some warmth, but it really also contours as well, and it applies super silky just as it's stated. So, so far, I've been really, really loving this bronzer. I've only used it like twice, but I've been wanting to build my bronzer collection a little bit. I don't have a ton of bronzers. And this one's really, really good. Um, another bronzer that I got was the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 200. This, again, is also really, really good. I opted for the 200, but I'm actually thinking the 100 might work very well for me. Like, this I do have to go in with a lighter hand because it can get a bit powdery if you dip your brush in too heavily, but the shade of it is so nice. Uh, it kind of has the same effect as, like, say, Hoola from Benefit, so I'm thinking, I have this theory that the 100 shade of this will be, like, Hoola Light. Might have some dupes on our hand, but I am so pumped for this one. I think it's awesome. So this Milani and this Maybelline bronzer are killing it. So super good. I also picked up from Wet n Wild 
the contour stick in the shade 806 wears walnut this is like old it came out a while ago but i love good cream contour stick i'm i don't know why i got the shade i think this is the darker shade which was not a good call on my part haven't used it yet i will keep you guys updated on what i think so okay blush i only have two blushes here to show you my opinions on drugstore blushes they they are just as good as high-end blushes i mean i still purchase high-end blushes but you know, if you don't have a lot of money, you're not going to be disappointed by the drugstore blushes. So the first one that I got was the Melania blush in Berry Amour. These are really pretty if you like a little bit of shimmer on your cheeks. I used this with a stippling brush the other day, and it was so beautiful. I do have another one. I can't remember what it's called, uh, but of this formula that I didn't like quite as much because I felt like the ref reflect was too gold, and that if I turn my cheek, my entire face was gold, and that, that just wasn't cute. I don't really get that with this, so I'm really liking this color, and it's very subtle and natural as well. So if you're more fair, I would look into it. This shade's awesome. I also got the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Keep It Peachy. Wet n Wild is awesome because they are one of the cheapest of the cheap drugstore brands. Their Color Icon Blushes are amazing. I They're one of my favorites. They're like three dollars, and they, they do their thing, and they do it well. This is just a new shade I hadn't seen before, so that's why I picked it up, and I definitely feel like they were missing this type of shade from their line, so haven't used it yet, but I'm sure it's going to be just as good as their other blushes that I love. I also had heard so many good things about these, so I had to pick them up. These are the Flower Beauty Blush Balms. I've been trying to really get into more cream and liquid products and kind of minimize the use of powder on my face because my skin has been excessively dry, much more dry than it used to be in the past. So I just feel like trying more liquid and cream products is just going to be better for my skin in the long run. So I got three shades of these. Haven't used them yet. I've swatched and so far I like based on swatching but we will see on application so I have melon which is a bit of a brighter color because I love a good bright blush cinnamon which is more of a deeper neutral color and then pinched which is more of just like an everyday color a little bit more creamy so I mean I haven't heard a bad thing about these so hopefully they don't disappoint I did get two highlighters as well so this one is the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade 250 I believe this was supposed to be like it like it claimed to be a Nikki Tutorials collaboration, but it actually wasn't. So they totally took her name off of the packaging. This is just the shade 250. Maybelline was definitely missing a color like this from their line. I feel like all of their other shades in this were better for more medium to deep skin tones. They definitely needed a lighter one. And this is really good, really beaming, just as the other ones were. So if you have been wanting to try this highlighter and you're more fair, and their other ones were just too deep, really try this one. It's really good. It's a bit light. For my personal taste, I would love a shade that's in between their Molten Gold and this. Just like a Molten Champagne or something. That is what they need. And then I also got the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder in I'm So Lit. Um, I don't really like this. Uh, they do have a couple deeper colors that I would consider picking up. First of all, this is like a hot mess. And this is just so reflective though. If you're fair, you're going to love I'm So Lit. I've been putting it on my cheeks and every time I do it's like a little bit much, a little bit too white. So they do have a couple of deeper colors that I think I'm going to look into because I do like the formula of it from what I can tell. I actually want to wear it again though before so I can test the longevity of it because I've only really used this when I've done like crazy looks that I took off right away. So if the longevity of this is good, I'm probably going to buy more of these because it's such a good price and you can do so many things with this. So now we are going to move on to the eye products. So from Ulta, I picked up the ColourPop Brow Boss in the shade Brunette. I just wanted to give it a go. I love ColourPop and I love eyebrow pencils, so I hope I like this. We will see. Benefit and ABH, you know, they, they have the best of the best, so let's see what this little $6 friend can do. <clears throat> let's see. I got the NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium. I don't know. I just wanted to try it out. I have a lot of different bases and things I can mix, and I've just never tried a mixing medium, so this is going to be really cool for some pigments, so I need to play around with this, but this is just a different kind of medium than what I have in my collection so it was something different I'll show you kind of what the texture is like it's slick 
but really smooth. So super excited about that. I did try to mix it with just like a loose glitter the other day and I wasn't too crazy about it mixed with a glitter. So I think it's going to look better with pigments. Um, I also picked up a couple of the flower glitter, warrior glitter shadows. I love these. I had one in camo and I just wanted more. So let me swatch these for you because they're not like too crazy pigmented. They're more of a lid topper, which I really like. So you put down the base color that you want and then you put this on top. Actually though, this orange one is super pigmented. So the one on top is bomb and the one on the bottom is flame. I mean, they actually are really pigmented now that I'm looking at them, but I'm so excited for these. You guys know liquid shadows are my weakness and if these are as good as the camo one, that's really exciting. Um, this I bought on Tati's recommendation. This is the All May Velvet Foil Cream Shadow. I picked mine up in the shade Cupid Glaze, and I have to say I was a little bit underwhelmed from it. I was just expecting a little bit more. I don't know if it's the shade that I bought. Eh. I don't know. It just wasn't really what I was expecting. I will have to wear it and you know what? You never know. Maybe it just has the most amazing staying power or it looks super amazing on the lid. We will see. I will keep you updated. But these are really neat though. Oh my, such a boring brand. And they had a lot of really neat colors as well. So if I do like this, I actually wouldn't mind... You know, looking into a couple other colors. They had like turquoise and colors like that that I'm very interested in. And then these I just heard on and off about uh, the J. Kett Priz Metal Chrome Eyeshadows or Chrome Eye Muse, Moo? Muse? Chrome Eye Mousses. So I picked three up because it was like buy two, get one free or something, something like that. It was like a good deal. I'm just going to open them and swatch them all for you. I have to say though, I was expecting a little bit more from them. I haven't put them on my eyes, so you know, I might be surprised, but based on swatching, I was expecting a little bit more. They had a lot of neat colors of these, but actually these are really pretty. I don't know. I need to see them on the eye. They're a little bit more stiff than I thought they would be. They don't really glide from what I can tell anyways. So this is Houdini, Champagne Wiz, and then Chrome Galaxy is right here. So they actually do look really pretty and reflective. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. It really wasn't this, but I haven't put them on my eyes, so who knows? And then I also, okay, so I hate drugstore eyeshadows. It's just not something that I, it's not my jam. I just don't waste my money. Um, and then I saw this and I thought it was so cute. This is the BH Cosmetics new eyeshadow palette and Hanging in Hawaii, which by the way, Essence came out with some really cute eyeshadow palettes that I almost bought. And then I had to remind myself how I don't like drugstore eyeshadows. But you know what? BH has really good eye has a really good eyeshadow line. Yeah, I just, I do like their eyeshadows. And look how pretty these colors are. These are going to be so perfect for spring. They did have another palette. I don't remember what it was, but it was really pretty as well. They were just sold out of it. Like, do you see that? I mean, BH, for being so affordable, they do such a good job with their shadows. So, even though I'm such... Uh, eyeshadow luxury snob. I did kind of want to pick that up and support BH a little bit because a lot of times I feel like it's BH versus Morphe and I don't know. I feel like giving BH a little bit of love. Two more things. So this is boring. I got JK four more things. So this is boring. I got the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara. This is just my favorite lower lash line mascara and the NYX Epic Ink Liner. You guys have told me to try this. I'm all about trying out new eyeliners. I guess this is just an eyeliner pen and it's supposed to be really awesome. So take your guys' word for it. I'm all about eyeliner pens. And then last two things, they are lips. So Maybelline came out with this line where it's supposed to flatter every skin tone. Uh, regardless, I just thought this color was really pretty. This is in the shade spiced for me and this as a fall color is going to be beautiful i know we're a little bit past fall <laughs> um but wow or even like summer nights you know with this and a little bit of mascara i mean i can see it i just thought this color was really pretty i don't know i didn't need it it was like a buy one get one half off for maybelline and then i got a morphe lip gloss i've heard so many good things about their lip glosses so i did want to try one so i got this one in the shade boho and their lip gloss packaging is so good and seeking alexandria 
that's who it was. She was talking about how much she loved these, and I trust her reviews so much. If you guys don't watch her channel, you should. It's very similar to mine, but she reviews even more than I do, and she, she knows her stuff. So she loves the Morphe lip glosses, and I just got this really pretty nude color. So I can't wait to put that on my lips. That was a lot of stuff. That was everything that I've hauled in the past month, makeup-wise. I'm really excited to try this stuff out. So I have tried some of it, not all of it. So I plan on doing a full face, uh, trying these products. So keep an eye out for that. So I'm going to film that in the next day or two, and that will be up as well. And I am going to just play with all of these products over the next couple of months. And I plan on doing an update video for you guys on this haul and other products around this time that I've reviewed. So anyways, that means you guys need to subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know some things that you've recently picked up and also let me know uh, some of your favorite drugstore products. So <laughs> for the next time that I go on this little crazy drugstore rampage, I'll know what to pick up. That being said, thank you guys for watching if you've stuck around this entire time and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a great day.